my friends and welcome to your news in the loose. Now, first up, Air India Express has now announced that they are going to be increasing the number of seats that they have on their Gulf sector by 2,220 seats, going specifically from India to the Gulf. <laughs> really? Have you bid on a Gulf sector? You're going to be adding 2,220 more seats to the Gulf. You know, I never thought I would see the day where the person threatening to kill everybody on the flight on a flight to the Middle East would be the air hostess. <laughs> Anybody else for another fuse? I'll kill you! Shut up! <laughs> Next up in a message virtually unveiling the National Democratic Alliance's economic agenda at the luncheon session of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industries 80th annual general meeting, Mr. L.K. Advani promised the nation a new GDP. Yes, according to him, the full form was governance, development and protection. <laughs> You can't just change the full form of GDP. It stands for gross domestic product. You know, no wonder people vote for Manmohan. As you know, Manmohan and Chidamram have also responded by saying that the BJP may promise a new GDP, then they promise a new UPA. Yes, the full form is use proper abbreviations. <laughs> Next up, after several rounds of deliberations on raising auto fuel prices, the government has finally decided to bite the bullet. It has raised petrol and diesel prices by rupees 2 per litre and rupees 1 per litre, respectively, from February 15. <laughs> well, it's not so bad. I mean, look, you can make up that extra 2 rupees by just showing a little bit of moderation in your daily life. I mean, don't have two drinks, have one. Don't have dinner out twice a week, uh, just go once. And let's be honest. Does that second child of yours really have to go to college? <laughs> so in fact, petrol has become so expensive that a lot of people have begun using their credit cards to buy petrol. Most gas stations now accept Visa, MasterCard and American Express. In fact, just yesterday, I bought three litres of petrol and they took my Visa, my MasterCard and my American Express. <laughs> I'm bankrupt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's time for our words of wisdom from News Lucis. News Lucy say, give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and then eat half of his fish. It's called outsourcing. <laughs> That's all we have time for on the show today. My name is Vidas and that is the bad news. Uh, you take care, my friends.